Hey guys, it's Rocky again. Welcome to another quick vid. Okay, if you follow my videos, you know I've got these two broken uh, game gears. We need new capacitors, so I'm going to do the capacitor kit on this one. Um, the screen's more scratched, but the actual physical case itself looks a bit better. So, there's some screws you need to take out. Uh, obviously, if you take, out, take off the battery component compartments, you've got one. Two, three, four, five, six, and you've got this one called the game bit. Now, you can buy a special screwdriver on eBay for a few pounds, or if you're really Heath Robertson, get a cheap bit in, melt the end, put it on, and that'll work. You have to remelt it a few times, but I do have all the I do have a full set of game bits, but they're currently MIA, so uh, I have to use the old trick. With you. And like surprisingly these game bits aren't actually tight and very tight. You think they'd be tight and really tight, but like that one's even almost out. Probably need to melt so actually but just to take a couple more tons there. Right, so take that lighter. Nice and hot. I like the plastic metal on top of it. And it was there, it was gripping it, but in the last stage, you might use a pair of pliers, which is what I'm going to have to do just now. So, bear with me. So, pliers, and there's your game bit. So, I wouldn't lose that. Or you could replace it with a non. You know, a little while since I've had one of these opened, so just check all the screws. Oh, first thing the screw. Before you go try to force plastic on. Jesus. There we go. So the pops open. There we go. So basically, I bought a capacitor kit off the eBay's. Um, probably cheaper if you went and bought them yourself from Maplin or RS, whatever. So plan is, I'm going to like some of these capacitors, and these ones on the soundboard generally go. So this kit changes them all. So my plan is diesel rubber. Capacitors, follow the instructions in the kit, change them all out. Um, I'm not going to show that, I'm just going to do it and I'll come back to you when that's been done and I'll have a little looks game. So, see you shortly. Bye. And um, we're back, guys. It's been about, I don't know, a month since I shot the last part of this video. So, as you can see, I've replaced all the capacitors. Excuse me, I've got hay fever. I've also dabbed the hot, some hot glue because my soldering skills these days are not as hot as they once were. Also had to modify the heat shield a bit and place the caps there. Now they didn't look too bad, the capacitors, when I removed them. However, um, they just kind of started to disintegrate and the electrolyte was all over the board. So I had to clean all that off. Ooh, bit glue there. So I'm going to put this thing back together and I'm going to show you. So see you soon. Bye. And uh, we're back again. As you can see, I put it back together. So let me just fire it up. They put fresh batteries in it. Virgin Games. Yeah, it's, um, it's not the greatest on camera, but the sound is clear, crisp. The volume control works fine, the brightness control works fine. This fact is really loud. Good. Um this is make up for my kids, but so there you go guys. Oh, that's a bit weird. Oh perhaps maybe I should not have done it. There we go. Contrast works great, sound works great. Together nicely. 
So there you go, that was repairing Sega Game Gear the capacitor kit. I'll recommend you give it a shot guys. Can't make it any worse than it already is. So thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Take care. Bye bye.